Do you understand these competing rights? I am aware. Sir. He's so, he's always trying to find a way around something. I'm aware. Do you understand? I'm aware. <laughs> Yo, it's your girl J9E back at it again, and we got some more of Daryl Brooks. Okay, because <laughs> he's just the gift that just kept right on giving. Like it, <laughs> should I say the curse that just kept right on going? Okay, so oh yeah. And by the way, if anybody feels the need or it, you know, wants to support the channel, many different ways to do it. That's my Cash App. That's just my. If you can't do a donation, then there's you could just follow me on my Instagram. Thanks. And then there's my PayPal for those who use PayPal. <laughs> but yeah, that's just, just throw that in there. This was when he was in, um, quote, back when he had a lawyer. He used to have a lawyer back in the day. Back in the day, Daryl had a lawyer, okay? <laughs> that was the thing that happened. These were his attorneys. These two sit next to him. Well, his attorney and I guess, I don't know, whatever. But these were his peeps. Now, of course, Daryl being Daryl, just could not you know this didn't sit right with him and so he wanted to represent himself but with a twist now this is what we're gonna watch so what are you what's going on what's going on in this court y'all there what's happening the issue with mr brooks and the motion to withdraw i do want to start out with you mr brooks and ask you is it your desire to represent yourself here we go here we go. In this case. Uh, it is. Uh, I would like to proceed in this matter. Uh, a prior persona. Not pro se. Say that last part again. I would like to proceed in this matter. In pro per. Not pro se. So you're going to have to tell me what you think that means. Um, it is me exercising <laughs> my right to defend myself, to represent myself as a sovereign citizen. <laughs> so citizen. essentially, this matter today would be me appearing by special appearance. <laughs> you have an absolute right to have an attorney represent you. It is protected not only by the Wisconsin Constitution, but the United States Constitution. Do you understand that? Um, I do understand my rights under the United States Constitution, yes. Okay. Did you hear what I said? No. <laughs> uh, repeat it. <laughs> do you understand that you have the right to have an attorney represent you, what we call the right to counsel? Under the Sixth Amendment, correct? under the Sixth Amendment, the 14th Amendment, and the Wisconsin Constitution uh -huh. as well. It's a well-established right that a criminal defendant has. He so wants to flex his, he, he wants to flex his um, legal abilities so bad. Like, he's like, oh, you mean the Sixth Amendment? Is that what you're talking about? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> he over here thinking he's sovereign. No, you ain't. You ain't. You just ain't, okay? Daryl. Do you understand that? I'm aware, yes. See, look. Do you he, also understand so that you have the right to represent yourself? Uh, I'm aware. That as well. I have before me a motion to withdraw by your attorneys with the sole basis <laughs> that is listed that you want to represent yourself. Is that your understanding as well? Uh, that isn't entirely how the, the issue came about. That's not what she asked. Uh, I think it's important for that to be on record. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my God, you in this record, Daryl. <laughs> she didn't ask you why that was the case. She just asked you, if that was the case oh my god i think he just does things just so that he can 
say, well, you don't know everything about it, though. You don't understand the why. The why matters, too. The why don't matter. Just get under the prison. <laughs> I'm not asking you to divulge attorney-client privileged at information. Do you understand that? So essentially, what is the question? <laughs> well, I want to make sure you understand you have these competing rights. Okay. It is recognized in uh, our case law so from the United, States uh, United States Supreme Court, the Wisconsin Supreme Court, that there are the these raccoon. competing rights, the right to counsel and the right to self-representation, essentially to be your own counsel. Do you understand these competing rights? I am aware. <laughs> Do you understand, sir? He's so he's always trying to find a way around something. I'm aware. Do you understand? I'm aware. <laughs> Do you understand that this is this is that? I'm aware. I think I'll be able to use this in, in appeals or something if I don't say if I don't say the thing correctly, what I'm supposed to say, then I can say, I never said I understood it. I didn't understand it. I said I was aware of it. You see, mistrial. <laughs> he was, he hoped for a lot of things. He hoped for a lot of things going through this. Like he was just like, oh, I'm gonna get me up on a technicality and we get off. That you can't have an attorney get him. and exercise that right and Smooth also the exercise the right of self-representation. <laughs> Oh, I don't understand. Uh-huh. Look. So yeah. you started off this. Yeah, he didn't understand. Okay, let, let's go back to that part. Sir, that you can't have an attorney and exercise that right and also exercise the right of self-representation. Oh, I don't understand that. Yeah. So you started off. Yeah, see, what he's trying to get here is the right to have an attorney to help him with the legal jargon while he gets to run amok throughout the trial and to and, and, and be the lawyer too. He wants to be the lawyer and have co-counsel, have the lawyers be his co-counsel. But that ain't how it works, Jojo. That ain't how it works. What it is, you either do it yourself and they're gone and they get to go home and be like, phew. <laughs> Or you let them do it and you sit there and you shut the hell up. Like, those are your options, baby. Welcome to America, okay? <laughs> These is your options. He wants his cake. He wants to eat his cake and still have it there looking pretty for him at the same time. You can't. You're going to either eat it or you're going to have it. But you can't have both, okay? You can't have both. It's just not how it goes. But he didn't understand that. He said he just... He just knew it's so funny it's like he's so smart supposedly he thinks he's so intelligent while being so stupid <laughs> off this hearing by saying you want to exercise mm -hmm. uh, your right to be a sovereign citizen this right to appear in persona today uh -huh. and act as a sovereign citizen yep. sir my concern here today is there's a request from your attorney uh-huh to withdraw from this case Yep. Do you understand that's the request before me today? I'm aware that they filed a motion to withdraw, yes. And are you aware? Let me back up. Have you seen that motion, sir? The uh -huh. written motion. She's thorough. She thorough. I'm going to tell you. I... Yeah, she thorough. Like this judge right here was just thorough. She could tell. She knew what he was up to from day one. She was like, man... This fool is trying to rack up some technical shit. I can see it. I already see it. I see I got to be very specific with what I say. Everything that I got to ask all the little things. Because he's going to try to slide and squirm on out from beneath these things. Like, so she was thorough as balls. <laughs> I have seen it. Did they give you a copy, the paper copy? I believe it was delivered to me. Oh, look at right. Do you have that in front of you today? No, I do not. Looking for a technical Print off a copy and we'll give it to him. Look, she got one right there. This lady, she's looking through here. She's going to pull that thing out. Like, here it is, right here. Bam, done. Just that. Look how she rolled her eyes. 
Through the girl, the girl, Lord, she like, here you go. Ugh, this fool oh, looks like Johnny Perry has put that in front of Mr. Brooks, along with the court is providing um, another copy. Mr. Brooks, can you acknowledge for me that you have a written copy of the motion to withdraw now in front of you? Yeah, this, this is a motion to withdraw. Are you able to read that on your own, <laughs> sir? Yes. Have you read it? <laughs> So he's so he's so sneaky. He's trying to be so sneaky. He's like, yeah, I have it. I don't I read it. As of now, I have read. Do you understand what's in that motion? I'm aware. You gonna say I'm aware? Don't you say I'm aware? Yes, I'm aware of what's in the motion. Yes. <laughs> Is there anything about that motion you do not understand? I'm aware. I'm aware. My question is, do you understand? Bam. I'm aware. Do you understand what it says? Okay. Sir? This is him being rebellious. I'm aware. It's clear to me what it says. All right. So let me start <laughs> off again by asking you. Do you wish to represent yourself in this case? Yes, I do. Before, per. I'm sorry, go ahead. I would like to represent myself pro per. What does that mean to you, sir? Explain to me again, that request. Again, because I've already said it on record, to represent myself as a sovereign citizen. I'm not going to make a determination, sir, whether you're a sovereign citizen or not. It's not relevant to my determination Thank how you, you characterize <laughs> who you are, other than you are accused of 77 counts, which I will go through momentarily, and you have the right to have an attorney represent you. That's your constitutional right. You have two very capable attorneys that have been with you from the beginning. Yep. You understand that, right? No, I do not understand that. What don't you understand <laughs> about that, sir? I don't understand why is the reference being made to uh, the capableness of my attorneys. Now, I, I agree that they have worked tirelessly <laughs> on a lot of- Let me tell you something you notice about our precious, precious Daryl. So what he does, he can't stand when you praise someone else in his presence. It's not, like like by her saying you have two perfectly capable attorneys here. He's like, I don't understand why you feel the need to point out that they're capable. <laughs> I mean, they are all right. <laughs> Daryl is an asshole. The worst. Oh my God, Daryl. Who are what are you who is this this like i mean he's so much this Ugh. the things in this case and i credit them with that i'm appreciative of that but it also should be said that there's a lot of things that i did not understand about the proceedings and a lot of the court cases, there were things that I didn't understand why there wasn't certain motions filed. There were a lot of things that I did not understand the totality of the meaning <laughs> the behind. totalitarianism. <laughs> and that is what kind of led to a lot of issues. But these were issues that were being raised for a number of months. This was not just something that sprung up out of the blue and i feel that as my attorneys that it would be essentially their job to make me aware of things that i do not understand so that's where a lot of the questions come into question as you <laughs> questions so let me follow question. that up sir if i allow them to withdraw 
you lose their legal experience, their specialized training, right? Their education, their work as attorneys. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? No, I did not understand. So if you are allowed to represent yourself in this case, sir, you You will not (laughs) have attorneys assisting you. If I let them withdraw, they're gone from this case. Do you understand that? I think I will probably be better served representing myself. Daryl, oh, precious Daryl. He thought that he could have a lawyer. He could have his lawyers, but he could lead his lawyers. That's what he, he wanted to be the main counsel. But when somebody uses some terms, like so they need something filed and all of that stuff, y'all figure that stuff out. File the proper paperwork, you know, and all of that jazz. I'll just stand up here and play lawyer and be able to like interview my victims. You know, like this is what he thought he was going to get to to just do that part without having to do the actual, the actual work part, the part that people go to school for and learn, have to learn all of this stuff. He thought he was going to get to do both and be a dick while doing it too. Like, <laughs> and so that is our precious Daryl under the jail, <laughs> under the jail. Deep, deep, deep down under the jail. Very, very close to hell. (laughs) Deep. (laughs) All right, with that, uh, y'all behave because I'm not gonna. Mama love you. Peace.